Listen up, come shows. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? Okay, so, uh, all right. Just going to give a little update on who's on first and what's on second. I didn't get too many of you guys to uh, get into the competition. I guess the $25 most of you don't need or none of you need. Well, two of you. That's not even a need. It's just I only got two people to try to win the gift card, but that's okay because if they win, they win. And, uh, yeah, so just make sure I have your information. One of you sent me your information in an email, and uh, I had an epic fail with my email, so I don't know what it is. I forgot which one of you it was, though. So if you're listening, just go ahead and, and post it in the comments, and then send it to my email again. Uh, I'll give you that leeway. Uh, okay, so I wanted to look at where we're at in the NBA and I also wanted to say, you guys, it's a sad day. You know, the police, you know, shot and killed that boy, 20-year-old. And uh, I would like to say my prayers go up, but I don't think my prayers are going to do any good. It's just a sad day that that happened. So I'm sorry to the family of Stephon Clark. And something needs to be done about that. Anyways, so... I'm just sorry to even say moving on, but to the topic at hand, uh, sports. So the playoffs start on the 14th and 15th, right? Uh, I'm sure one of you are going to correct me on that, but I think I've read that uh, recently. It says it starts April 14th and 15th. Now, I want to read off the list of the teams touted to be in the playoffs in each conference. And I also want to say that Golden State is probably going to face the Timberwolves. And the Timberwolves have the potential to beat Golden State uh, simply because Stefan is hurt. Okay, but I just don't think that's going to happen. But it wouldn't surprise me if Golden State was taken out of the equation. Because people are just, it's kind of like Tom Brady and the, and the Pats lost to the Eagles if they would have won, it would have been like, come on. What's the sense of watching it anymore? So I can understand if Golden State is just being taken out, and that's what it seems is happening. Because people are like, this whole thing is, it's not even fair. You know, Golden State team, what they have, it's just, it's not, it's not even fair. Like, nobody can keep up with that team. Realistically, it's just not even fair. So what, oh, I told you guys what they were going to do. They were going to, those guys are going to end up hurt. So check out my last videos from last year. I told you guys this was going to happen. Anyways, um, so let's let's run down the list of uh, people who are touted to make it into the playoffs. And we're going to have uh, Portland Trailblazers, uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, let's see, New Orleans, let's see, the Pelicans. Yeah, New Orleans Pelicans. I'm sorry, the reading is very small. Minnesota Timberwolves, Los Angeles uh, lot. Uh, it gets so small. Los uh, Los Angeles Clippers, Utah Jazz, uh, San Antonio Spurs, Denver Nuggets. Those are the uh, teams that are for the Western Conference. And I'm gonna go over here and try to read the Eastern Conference. This writing is so small. Uh, they're they're talking about losing Gordon Haywood, Boston Celtics. Uh. Season in the Indiana Pacers trade with veteran George Paul. Thunder received. Uh, they're just talking about the trades. Star, are they going to get to the okay? Advancing and Celtics. So the Celtics, Cleveland, Washington Wizards, Miami. Uh, and Eastern Playoffs. So the Celtics, the Wizards, Washington. Miami, Toronto, uh, I think the Pacers, and they didn't do it like a list. So I think that's it. Now, there's a couple more teams on there. Yeah, there's a couple more teams on there. So let me view this. Sorry this video is so sketchy, but 
the way they wrote it is just not uh, it's not easy to read when you're <laughs> my age and you need some serious glasses. But my whole point to it is, okay, most Eastern Conference final wins. Okay, these are just the most final wins. Boston Celtics, Detroit Pistons, Philadelphia. Oh, that's right. Philly is in it too. My, and Miami Heat, uh, but Chicago is definitely not in it. Uh, so this is just a list of the conferences. So there you guys have it, the teams that are touted to be in it. I'm still going to say, I don't think the, I don't think the Timberwolves are going to knock off. I just don't think they're going to they're going to knock off Stefan's team. Uh, and another thing about Stefan's injury is uh, meniscus. I think he hurt his meniscus or something like that, or patella, patella. Uh, nonetheless, or iliotibital, iliotibital man. One of those things he might have hurt, a little tendon in the knee. And uh, I don't think he's out, like, out for the season. Like, Kyrie Irving's out for the season. You know what I'm saying? Gordon Hayward, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think Gordon's back, but he might be a little hurt up still. Uh, so, it's looking sketchy, but it all boils down to the same thing for me. It all boils down to the, to, uh, oh, yeah, and uh, the Cavs and, um, Houston, uh, Houston and uh, the Cavs. So that's it's just look, it's look they they're painting it. It's just like even the announcers are saying it. They're saying that it's just tailor made for Houston and Cleveland to go ahead and duke it out. Now somebody might Pelicans or something you know, might come out of nowhere and you know just do it to them, but. I don't know. It's just looking bad. Uh, so, okay. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can look up the rankings. Real quick, my internet is slow. Uh, let's see. Uh, NBA rankings 2018. My internet is super slow. All right. So, here's some rankings. Let's go ahead with this. Uh, power ranking our expert panels of the is running week 25. All right, so let's see. Raptors, Celtics, Cleveland, Sixers, Pacers. That's not because uh, they're not. In, that's not. One of them. Oh, it's the Eastern Conference. Okay, so that's the Eastern Conference. So all right, here's the power rankings, you guys. So the Eastern Conference, uh, Raptors, Celtics. Pacers, uh, um, Sixers, Pacers. You go, Sixers, because you guys suck last year. And this is why the, the freaking Mavericks are going to get a first-round pick, because they suck this year on purpose. Way to go, Mark Cuban. Way to thank everybody. Anyway, uh, the Heat is actually in, in the running. Milwaukee, Pistons, Hornets, Knicks, Bulls, eh, Net, eh, Magic, eh, Hawks, no. Uh, so... I think like the first maybe four or five are in it. Are we out here to the Pacers? I know these guys are in it, but I think the Pacers are all. I think the Wizards actually down to seven. I think these, these seven guys might be in the running. Uh, Rockets. Uh, this is Western Conference rankings. Uh, Rockets. Uh, Warriors. Blazers. Spurs. I'm sorry. Trail Blazers. Spurs. Thunder. Jazz. Timberwolves. Pelican and Denver Nuggets. So I think these guys are in it. All the way down to the Pelicans. These guys are in it. And uh, let's see, Nuggets, Clippers, Lakers, Kings, Mavericks, Grizzlies, Suns, none of those guys are in it. So there is your standing from 1 to 15 within each conference, Eastern and Western. And of course, that's broken down, uh, yada, yada, yada. But there it is. Now, I'm wondering, you know what's going to happen to the Raptors? The Raptors are like your, your, the, the third place guy. The fourth, the fourth place, the, the Raptors are like the fifth place guy in the Olympics that nobody remembers until they see him. <laughs> Nobody's worried about that guy winning, but they're always, you know, making it to the big game. You know, uh, in this case, it was this guy named Rogers. He's a sprinter. 
he's like always coming in fourth or fifth, but he's always fast enough to make it to qualifiers in the Olympics. He's, I feel, I feel bad for Rodgers. That's who the Pelicans are. You know, it's just like you never, you're never going to do it all. But nonetheless, you guys are always super, super, you know, competitive, even though you're always supposed, supposed to lose. You know, Tracy McGrady. Uh, you're supposed to lose. So then you lose, you know, because when you missed 12 foul shots in a row in 2016 in the, in the finals against Cleveland, 12 Foul shots in a row. The NBA is fixed, everyone. They they missed 12 foul shots on purpose. This is the NBA. This is not, you know, my kid, you know, cousin or nephew, my cousin's nephew playing some five-year-old. This is the NBA. 12 shots in a row in 2016 against Cleveland. That's what the Raptors did, all right? I know I sound like Stephen A. Smith right now, but that's what happened. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? No, get out of here with that. <laughs> you guys lost because you're supposed to lose, and that was just that. Sorry, Canada, that's just not going to happen right about now. So, yeah, moving on, I'm still going to go with Cleveland over Houston. Uh, somebody was talking about, you know, I'm not picking Cleveland anymore. No, when I pick somebody at the beginning of the year, even if it's I still don't see them winning. I'm like, look, that was my pick. That's who I'm sticking with. I picked Cleveland last year. Uh, uh, after the finals of last year, I said they're going to win this year. I said they were going to lose last year. They did. I didn't use Dramatria. I just used just some logic that I have and pulled out of the air somewhere that, uh, you know, this, that, and the third. But anyway, so just wanted to bring that out there. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. It's your boy Tone, too. Peace. I think. Maybe. A little peace. Oh, oh.